Welcome or welcome back. Today I want to show you three foam rolling techniques, I guess, or, or three ways I foam roll for uh, body posture. So, if you are interested in improving your posture, I'll show you my three little uh, foam rolling areas. It's going to be down here, the front of the shoulder, and then this guy is going to go in between your shoulder blades at the back here. So just a little bit um, about foam rolling before we begin. If you are completely new to this, do not exaggerate. You don't need to stay on one spot for a very long time. I would actually suggest that you don't stay that long, especially in the beginning. And uh, consider that when you're foam rolling and you're putting weight on these uh, foam rollers, you're giving yourself a deep massage. And yes, it is true that you can moderate the pressure by pulling your weight kind of off of it, but because you're doing it on your own and it's not someone else putting pressure from, from outside, it's going to be hard to, um, to, to be very light-handed, let's say, because you know, just an example, if I'm foam rolling at uh, the side of my hip, you know, yeah, sure, I can lift my weight off, but I'm going to <laughs> like tense up everything in my body and it's going to be very hard to have like a uh, middle, um, middle way pressure. It's going to be kind of an intense pressure because my hips are heavy, <laughs> my pelvis is heavy. So, uh, so just keep that in mind that you do not want to, to do too much and to exaggerate that's going to that that can be painful for you after that can lead to other problems and so on something else to consider is you never foam roll your lower back i know it's um tempting like if you have lower back pain it's so tempting to <laughs> pull and stretch and twist and and push and i often get the, and, and i have this myself but i often get this when people come to me for working out or whatever, or if they just want some advice, and they'll say, oh, I have pain here, and they'll, they'll just like dig into their back and be like, it's here, it's here, you know? And I'm like, no, don't touch it. <laughs> don't do anything. If you're foam rolling your upper back, you want to keep it above your bra strap. So for men, that's going to be a few centimeters beneath your shoulder blade, I would say. The first thing I would do, oh, okay, so why would you want to foam roll? Uh, rather than do other things. You don't want to foam roll rather than doing other things. Foam rolling is a substitute for, I would say, massage. Some people, they uh, go and get massages, uh, whether that's like a therapeutic uh, massage, like sports massage, or just a relaxation thing, but let's say it's like a deep tissue uh, kind of massage, um, and they get some relief from doing that. Now, you can I wouldn't say you can save a lot of money, but you can save yourself the pain and intensity of doing that, let's say once a month, by foam rolling a little bit, let's say every other day or a couple times a week. So that doesn't mean that you, you, need, you never do massages again, you can do that if you enjoy it or if it helps you, but this is going to be an added um, benefit. Another thing why you want to foam roll is that sometimes it's hard to get a hold of certain muscles to relieve the tension from them in, for example, let's say a stretch. So classic example, at least for me, the muscles in between my shoulder blades, so my the lower part of my trapezius, I would say, well, actually my whole trapezius situation is kind of and I know you can like pull your shoulder blades away and do things like that, but I don't, I never leave that situation feeling better. It's almost as if that's, I don't know, like almost as if I'm pulling in the wrong direction. I don't know. But to me, it's better to go in with a foam roller and roll out the tension that way than to kind of twist myself in some really uncomfortable position. So let me show you the first one. And you want to place it, let's say, in your armpit, but a little bit below. And then you want to roll a little bit over onto your back. So you're going to feel it underneath or at the base of your scapula, but on the outside. So not completely on my back like this. I'm not rolling over my scapula. I am like at the side of it, okay? So from here, what you can do is to start at the center and do small motions 
I want to breathe <laughs> and try to relax. That's going to be hard for me as I'm speaking, but that's okay. Uh, and then maybe increase the range of movement. Do you see how I start at the, at the middle? And I just do small movements back and forth. And then I can increase that. And foam rolling is always going to be a bit weird in, in the sense that you just have to uh, rearrange your body <laughs> as you go. So I like to then go a little bit further. I'm almost, so I'm at the back of my shoulder now, almost at the base of my arm. And I have a lot of tension there. So I like to roll out that thing. <laughs> and then maybe I'll go a little bit back here. All right, so that's one uh, part that I like to do for specifically for posture. Then I'm going to move at the front. So I'm going to place the foam roller across my shoulder, my chest actually, across my chest. I'm going to roll out this muscle that is pulling the shoulders together <laughs> at the front. So relieving the tension here is going to help you to <sighs> spread your shoulders out. So this is going to be even more awkward. I hope that you can see, but place it across your chest and rearrange your body around this situation so that you can move and maybe start Again, start at the, the middle of the muscle, let's say. Just make some small movements and then you can increase the range of motion. So just a reminder that you're, you're not foam rolling your bones. Make sure that you are staying on muscles. So we never want to put pressure on the joints. We're, we are really just giving ourselves a little bit of a massage, not too intense, not too long. All right, let's say that's enough. So, so you could go out for a little bit longer than this, but I do, do suggest that you just keep it easy, keep it simple, at least if it's your first time. So moving on to this, this guy here, this is when you're going to be very careful not to let this slide to the middle of your back, no, 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 <laughs> or to the lower back, absolutely not. This is going to stay, let's see if I can get my arm up there. This is going to stay about here, yeah, about here and upward, okay? And also this space in between, that's where your spine is going to be. So yeah, you don't want to foam roll on the bone, no foam rolling on the actual vertebras. Spine is in here, and these are massaging your trapezius. You can keep your hands or your arms at the side of your face like this, and you can also play with trying to open a little bit like so and closing. Another thing that is important when you're foam rolling your upper back, I'll just show you. So when you're placing it here, we are kind of in a sort of chest lift position. You want to make sure that you're keeping your navel to your spine. So for example, when you're rolling up, you don't want to let go of your uh, abdomen and do things like this. You're still active. Well, I guess this is general for when you're foam rolling, but specifically in this position, it's going to be something that you want to think about. You can rest your head in your hands like so, and just work in between your scapulas. And again, you can start at the, like at the middle and work the tension out slowly, and then increasing the range of motion as you go. So you see how I'm keeping the foam roller high on my back. I'm not moving it to the middle of my back. Now you can also try to move it a little bit up in your neck almost. Maybe you want to open a little bit. Just make sure that we're not doing too much. It doesn't need to be too intense. I would say we don't really need to do more than that. It's better to do a little bit often than to do a really intense... Well, I guess you can do a long session if you're doing a full body foam roll. You don't need to dwell on one muscle or one tension point for a long time because again, that can create other problems for you. I hope this can serve you well and that this can help your posture as it has for me. And until next time, bless your heart. Oh.